Today we'll be going over a quick overview of the S-Concrete multi-story designer. So the first step is to specify which ETAS model I'd like to import into S-Concrete. And then I can specify which elements I want to import based on either a type basis, or I can go in and see the actual elements and the individual sections that will be imported. And then I can go ahead and filter just like that. I'm also able to see the load combinations that will be imported, and I can also choose whether they are seismic or wind. And once I'm happy with that, I can go ahead and click Next, and move on to the second step. And this step is where I can start defining some preliminary reinforcement for all the sections that I've just imported. So now I have my sections imported from ETABS, and that includes the dimensions of those sections, the material properties, as well as all the loading from the ETABS analysis. And now I can define some preliminary reinforcement. So these will probably be coming either from the minimums defined from the code or the minimums that I'm working with in my project because this is the first run of reinforcement that will apply to all of our sections. So once we're done defining our reinforcement, we have all these different fields we can use. We can also take a look at the seismic parameters that we'd like to define across all of our sections. And these are the exact same seismic parameters that are found in S-Concrete. Once we're happy with our preliminary information, we can go ahead and click this button here to apply that to the entire set of sections. And now we have a list of all the design groups that have been imported. And again, each design group represents a section that was imported from ETABS. So the sections are coming from ETABS, the loading is coming from ETABS, and the reinforcement is as we just defined it. And now we can see we have some preliminary code check results. We're able to modify the reinforcement for each design group individually. We can refine the design groups and divide them into individual stories or into groups of stories and design those separately. And we're able to also take a look at each individual design group in the Actualized Concrete program. We're also able to run the full code check whenever we'd like. Once we're happy with our preliminary design checks as well as the reinforcement, we can go ahead and move on to the last step. And that is to actually create the S-Concrete files. And just like before, we can select which sections we want, as, as well as which load combinations we want. And then with just the click of a button, I can create my S-Concrete files. And as you can see here, in just a couple minutes, I was able to import my ETABS model, which included the sections as well as the loads, and apply some reinforcement to all those sections, and turn those into S-Concrete files. And these S-Concrete files are just like any normal S-Concrete file. I can open them, modify them, and send them to other people within my organization. And once I have all my S-Concrete files created, from within the same environment, I can run the full S-Concrete code check on all my sections, which includes the full force and detailing code check. And then S-Concrete Multi-Story Designer will allow me to make advanced reports such as the batch code check results in a single PDF file and beam, column, and wall reinforcement schedules. Now this was just a quick overview of the functionality of this program. If you want some more information, please feel free to go to our website, watch some other videos that we have on our YouTube channel, 